This is my project about railroads in the Industrial Revolution. Railroads are arguably one of the most pivotal innovations of the Industrial Revolution. Using recently developed steam technology, industrialists were able to establish railroads as a key means of transportation. Let's delve into the intricate history of this significant innovation that continues to have an importance in modern day. Early Railroads As early as the 1500s, railroads without engines were used in Europe to transport coal. This involved wagons being pulled along wooden tracks by horses. This allowed for greater ease when compared to pulling wagons over dirt. As the Industrial Revolution progressed, iron began to replace the wooden rails as well as the wooden wheels. This innovation spread across Europe around 1770, around the same time the steam engine was invented by James Watt in 1774. This is an image of a railroad being pulled along a wooden rail. Railroads and the British Industrial Revolution. Let's look at some of the key innovators and dates involved in this process. William Jessup, 1789. William Jessup made a significant contribution to railroads as he invented flanged wheels, where flanks on each side, each wheel gripped the rail. As simple as this innovation may sound, it played a critical role in the development of railroads. Without Jessup's contribution, it is unlikely that railroads would have been as successful. This design increased the safety and efficiency and is still used in modern day railway locomotives. This is an example of the wheel that he invented. Samuel Homfray, 1803. Possibly the most important factor of railroads was the steam engine. The steam engine played a critical role in the development of railroads. Samuel Homfrey funded the development of the steam engine, which led to the switch from horse-drawn wagons to steam-powered vehicles. He bought the patent from Richard Trevithick, who went on to build the first steam engine tramway locomotive. This is an image of a steam engine. Richard Trevithick, 1803. Although steam engines had been around for some time now, Trevithick utilized the recently innovated technology of the high-pressure steam engine, which made the tram run much more efficiently. This was the first locomotive to haul a load. In 1804, it hauled 10 tons of iron, 70 men, and 5 carts for a total of 9 miles. The trip took a total of 2 hours. This showed the general public as well as engineering companies that the steam-powered engine was a successful addition to the railroad industry. Here's an example of the first locomotive to haul a load. George Stevenson, 1814. George Stevenson is considered the father of railways. After being inspired by Trevithick's tramway design, he sought to design his own steam engine locomotive. In 1814, he completed his own locomotive for Stockton and Darlington Railway Line, where he worked as the company engineer. While Trevithick is credited with the creation of the first tramway locomotive, which is made to travel on the road, Stevenson is credited with the creation of the first locomotive made to run on railroads. Here's an example of Stevenson's design for his railway. The locomotive made by Stevenson, called Bletcher, was made to haul coal and traveled at a speed of 4 miles per hour. It hauled 8 coal-loaded wagons, each about 30 tons, on an uphill path of 450 feet. With the utilization of the steam-powered engine, this locomotive became the most successful one of its time. This success led Stevenson to experiment further. Here's an image of Blutcher. Stevenson next built a steam locomotive that he entered in a race. This locomotive, named the Rocket, won the competition and showed that his, this form of steam engine, a two-pressurized boiler system, was a successful and reliable design. The railroad went 27 miles per hour and soon became a renowned innovation across England. The design rapidly spread to the United States. Here's an image of the Rocket. Julius Griffith, 1821. In 1821, Julius Griffith patented a passenger locomotive, and using George Stevenson's design, the first railroad to transport both goods and people was made in 1825. This was made under the Stockton and Darlington Railway Line, where it opened as the first public railway that transported on a regular schedule. This could pull 450 people in 21 cars at a speed of 10 miles per hour. Here is a picture of a passenger locomotive. Railroads in the United States Industrial Revolution the first American railroad systems were railroads that ran on gravity. The builder of this railroad was a man from Britain. As people in the United States began to expand westerly, agriculture became more developed, more resources were needed, and the population grew. This created a demand for an efficient form of transportation. Railroads with a steam-powered engine became prevalent in the 1830s as ideas diffused from Britain. Here is an example of a gravity-run railroad. John Stevens, 1815. 
1815, John Stevens was granted a charter to begin work on the first operational railroads. He is considered the father of American railroads. Three years before G George Stevenson perfected the use of the steam engine in locomotives, John Stevens experimented with steam locomotion on a circular railroad path. Soon, construction began in Baltimore for a 14-mile track. This would form the Baltimore-Ohio Railway. Here's a picture of the Baltimore-Ohio Railway. George Pullman, 1837. Many people began to experiment with planning and construction of railroads in the United States, with or without a grant. George Pullman was given a grant to design the Pullman sleeping car. A sleeping car is a car that accommodates people with beds. Although sleeping cars already existed, he increased the comfort and luxury of these vehicles. This led to an increase in passenger transporting vehicles. Here is an image of a sleeping car. In the 1960s and 1970s, there was a renewed interest in constructing trains that could travel at very fast speeds. This utilized technology of magnetic levitation. The first high-speed train car ran in Tokyo and Osaka in Japan. This revolutionized transportation methods. Here is an image of a fast-traveling railroad car. The continuity associated with this topic is in regard of goods transported. To this day, goods such as coal are still transported long distances with trains. Although the industrialization of trains led to increased efficiency and safety when transporting these goods, wagons pulled along railway-like rails were utilized even before developments such as the steam engine were invented. In addition to the same goods still being transported, wagons were also used to transport people from one place to another, no matter how slow the process was. This concept is still used today, as railroad use is one of the most common forms of transportation. The change associated with this topic is the efficiency and safety of transportation. Before the invention of the railroads, coal mining was very dangerous. The transportation of coal would go to the extent of, of coal being transported by hand. As railways became industrialized, Coal production increased from 2.5 million to more than 15 million tons by 1829. The prices of coal dropped significantly. In addition to coal, other materials and people needed a quick form of transportation. The industrialization of railroads led to an increased availability of raw materials as well as a decrease in their price. Before, it was risky and expensive to transport. Railroads also led to inc an increase in factory production, as demand for railroad parts skyrocketed. This employed thousands of people as railroads became the common form of transportation and allowed a passage across North America. The development of the railroads had a significant impact on the social, political, and economic environments of the countries involved in the Industrial Revolution. It led to the formation of innovations such as bridges and other forms of transportation. The invention of the steam engine led to experimentation with the diesel-run engine, which is used in modern-day automobiles. All in all, it led to an increase in efficiency, convenience, and safety of the transportation of passengers and goods.